My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of Saints John de Brebeuf and Isaac Jogues and their companions. Uh, Saint John and Isaac were priests, their companions were not all priests, but this group known as the North American Martyrs, those that were missionaries to the, the Native Americans in Canada, uh, and many of which went to, to their martyrdom. And so the, the readings, that the cause for which they lived and ministered, beautifully is represented in today's readings. And the first reading, we hear Saint Paul speak of the inscrutable riches of Christ, that the great gift we have received, our faith in Christ Jesus, the good things God has done for us. And in the psalm, the psalmist tells us, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. We have received so much, and for in our Christian faith, we know this. And the grace of baptism, God's mercy and grace poured out into our hearts, sustaining us. This is the good news, the good news of salvation, the heart of the gospel. And so, the gospel passage itself goes on to talk about those who are entrusted with much. That we must, if we're entrusted, we must make good on that. And so that happens through our own evangelization. Yesterday we celebrated the Feast of St. Luke, the evangelist, and we think of the evangelists as the, the people who wrote the Gospels, which is true. And sometimes we think of evangelists you know, as people formally trained to go forth or as missionaries, or perhaps we have a negative connotation of television personalities, you know, tele, tele-evangelists. But to be an evangelist is one that spreads, that proclaims the gospel. And in fact, every one of us in our baptism is called to do this. What does this evangelization consist of? Of sharing what we have received, the good news of salvation. For we who have drunk deeply from the the wellsprings of salvation, the waters of salvation, we in turn must share this with others. And so, this is what the North American martyrs did. St. John de Brebeuf was a missionary, and he, as the, the Native American tribes began to get sick with smallpox and other diseases that came, they, he tended to them in their sickness. They wondered at the fact that he wasn't affected, of course, having come from Europe himself. And so they, they began to turn to him. But while they was, had physical illness, and of course the story went on between warring tribes that they were captured and murdered, but while he tended to those who were physically sick, his greatest concern was for their souls. He went to great lengths to learn their language which he knew he couldn't communicate the articles of faith. And so he got into their lived experience so that he had a common basis for communication to understand their way of life, to understand their language, their customs, and to then be able to share the good news of the gospel, to bring enlightenment and to bring a renewed joy and peace. This is informative for us in our work of evangelization that we have to encounter people, not just in our own language, but in theirs, and shared experience. We have to encounter other people and understand where they're coming from, but then not just be dragged to their level, but to then share what we have received. We have received the good news of salvation that we have to share with others. We want others to have what we have. And so the gospel compels us to move forward with this missionary spirit, whether or not we're sent to far off lands or whether we're ministering just to our family, our friends, our coworkers, whatever it may be, may we have that spirit of evangelization to take the good news that has been planted in our hearts and proclaim it joyfully. Saint Isaac de Brebeuf, I say John de Brebeuf, Isaac Jogues and companions, the North American martyrs, pray for us.